John and Ryan in the morning. And we are back. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Big news coming this way Ooh. straight from Wilmington Brew Works and our partners at the Delaware Blue Coats. That's right, John. This week, we're going to be canning our new custom label beer for Delaware's G Team called the, Varsity Brews. Yeah, Varsity Brew for uh, the G League team, not just the G Team, the G oh, League. The G League. That stands for Gatorade. Oh. Did you know that? I did not it know does. that. They are a sponsor of the entire G League. Very so, cool. uh, the Blue Coats are back in action on uh, November 6th, and that's not the only exciting thing about, you know, other than Varsity Brew being available there. But you know where you can get it? Where's that? At the Wilmington Brew Works Beer Garden Suite. Beer Garden? Yeah. I've always wanted to go to a garden that grew beer. Yeah. Over at the Blue Coats, the Beer Garden Suite is up on the uh, upper deck overseeing the court. Has a bunch of uh, very nice beer just from uh, Wilmington Brew Works. Uh, and it is a, um, uh, a suite that you can go with a number of people and you get all you can eat wings and the first beer is included. Now you can get any beer there, but we highly suggest going with Varsity Brew. I cannot wait to go and watch a game in the WBW Beer Garden Suite. Yeah, so for information, you're gonna wanna contact the uh, Blue Coats box office for tickets. Okay, what is up here? Oh, the Weekend in Review. So this weekend was pretty cool. We had the, uh, the uh, Christian Crouch ceremony. We uh, memorialized uh, Christian Crouch, who was the father of lager beer in Delaware. That's right, yes. Uh, and most of you may have heard that name because of our lager that is in his honor, Crouch's Creation. Crouch's Creation, a Hellas, uh, Hellas lager, fantastic. Uh, very true to the style. And uh, 151 years ago, Mr. Crouch passed away and was buried without a headstone. Uh, with the support of the Delaware Beer History community um, and John Metcalf specifically, we were able to help right that wrong. Thanks for all of you who contributed during that time. Uh, also, we had a comedy show. We did have a comedy show, that's yeah. right. It was uh, funny. I, I hope so. I think it was a good show. Two shows, Rich Voss and a number of other comedians. Fantastic time. I heard it was great. I heard it was uh, Rich Voss taking lots of great shots at our own Keith Hughes. He took shots at Keith Hughes, but he also took shots at just about everybody in the audience. It was a lot of uh, crowd work in a really fun and dry way. Sounds great. Perfect Rich Voss stuff. Also, um, happy birthday to the Wilmington Fire Department. That's right. I wish we had a siren to play right now. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's right. The Wilmington Fire Department turned 100 years old this weekend. We had one of the biggest parades in Wilmington that the uh, city's ever seen. Um, and then, uh, I know we're doing Weekend Review, but let's talk about tonight. Because tonight is not only Bring Your Own Vinyl Night, but it's also a uh, pop-up shop for vinyl in the Alma Room. That's right. Come here, go into the Alma Room, find some new vinyl to buy, and then you can bring it out here and we'll play it for you. We've got four different vendors, if I, my memory serves me correctly, and, and uh, Mr. Dusty Fingers himself, Chris Hogg, DJ Chris Hogg, with a whole bunch of vinyl for you to, to sort through and pick out and play old school. You know vinyl's becoming harder to find. It is, I mean, uh, everybody wants to get their hands it's on it. It's the number one selling music physical format right now. That's right. Ah, uh, what else is going on? Anything new for you? Well, John, check out my new hoodie I'm wearing. Oh, that is a nice new hoodie. Yeah. I had one of those. You did. I, I called dibs. Yeah, you did. Is it warm? It's super comfy. Yeah. And yeah, it's warm. It was a good hoodie day today. <laughs> it is a good hoodie. I mean, we're getting in that season where uh, hoodies are um, just just the perfect thing. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. I'm gonna wear this until it gets stolen from me. Because yeah. you know hoodies always get stolen. It always happens. It yeah, you take them off. You hang them on a hook. Yeah. Your significant other will you take should... them. Oh. Yeah. You should write your name on it. Because that will matter. It is. Okay. It's on the back. What's up? Okay. Oh boy. Production team update. Can we go live to the production team? All right, let's go to the production team. Hi, John Ryan from the production team here. Hey, Ryan. And boy, do I have some cool updates for you guys. Okay. If you came in this past weekend, you might have seen that we brought the slushies back. Is it fall? Yes. Do, ever, do people love slushies all year round? Apparently. We've got a lot of requests to bring the slushies back, and uh, now that the warm weather might finally be leaving us, we decided to, to do that. Yeah, so, you know, we uh, had, this past week, we offered a soft cider slushie that was perfect for the kids. 
we had a cherry slushie that was also non-alcoholic, and we put our vacation surprise Cosmo in the slushie machine. Mm, Cosmo. Don't forget, you can always add a shot of one of our spirits to these uh, non-alcoholic slushies, so you can make them an adult slushie. Uh, and stay tuned to our social media accounts for this week's slushy offerings. Do you think the girls from Sex in the City would appreciate the uh, Cosmo slushy? I don't know. Maybe. I'd have to think about it. Okay. You think about it. Report back. Okay. Okay. Also, Wilmington Wassail made its debut this week. Yeah. Which is our hot mold cider. See, we get cold with the slushies. We're going hot with the hot mold cider. You know, somebody once told me that wassail is how you would say uh, cheers for the cider. Absolutely, you could, so yeah. Wassail. Wassail. Look at that. It's also a really cool winter tradition where uh, you go out in the orchard and you uh, play some music, sing some songs, shoot some guns. You might say, here we come a wassail. Could say that. That is. Anything else from Tackle? Any beer updates? Uh, yep. So we're gonna be having some canning happen this week. We already talked about canning Varsity Brew. Yeah. Uh, but we're also gonna be doing some canning of Return to Sender. Love it. And uh, we should also have. I don't want to quite make a promise. We can't keep, he's but like, we're always doing this. We're aiming to have one of our popular loggers return in time for the weekend. Okay. That's awesome to hear. All right. Uh, and that's going to do it from the production team. All right. Thanks, production team. You got it. All right. Uh, next on our list right here is some show reviews. You guys have really liked uh, John and Ryan in the morning, so we're going to go and uh, read some of these reviews. If you have a review for us, feel free to leave a comment on the John and Ryan in the morning Instagram page. There's an Instagram page? There is. Oh. Shh. It's a secret. Okay. First review is from uh, Derek in Wilmington. He says, John and Ryan is a show on the internet. Yeah. Very. That's that's factual. Thanks, Derek. Thanks, Derek. Uh, this one, uh, that John is one handsome fella. Signed, John's mom. Oh, thanks, mom. I appreciate it. Um, I've got one here. It says, it's a good thing their beers aren't as flat as their personalities. And that one's signed, uh, Ryan's mom. Thanks, mom. Uh, all right. And this uh, last one here um, says, I waited in the green room for two hours. And that's signed, Keith Hughes from Wilmington. Yep, uh, that's true. So uh, last thing uh, on our agenda here is uh, Halloween's this weekend, Ryan. What are you going as? You know, John, I'm not really sure, but I was thinking of uh, perhaps going as um, one of my favorite sitcom characters, a former high school quarterback who now goes to a community college. I was thinking about going as a community college fellow too, but maybe one that's a little nerdy, um, into film production. Not sure yet. We'll have to think about that. Yeah, we can work on that. We should coordinate. I think we could do that. Okay. All right, we are running out of time. Apologies to Keith. We are out of time. We'll have to get you on next week. But until then, we'll see you next time on John and Ryan in the morning.